Hi everyone, we're going to find the first term in the common difference of a rhythmic sequence giving certain information. We're also going to find the recursive and explicit formula or the nth term. The nth term is the explicit formula. All right, so basically what this problem wants is they're saying the eighth term is eight and the twentieth term is forty-four. So basically I set it up for you already, but the question is just asking you if the 8th term equals 8 and the 20th term equals 44, then find the first uh, term in the common difference and then write our recursive formula and our explicit formula. So what I did is I used this formula here and I had the 8th term, so our n, this equals your n. This is your n. So a sub n equals a plus n minus 1 times d. Now our n is uh, 8. So 8 minus 1 equals 7. So that's where you're getting the 7d from. It's always going to be 1 less. So if you're looking for the 20th term, it's going to be 19. So what we have is we have... Uh, a plus 7d equals 8, and a plus 19d equals 44. And then we have a system of linear equations, so we're going to eliminate the a by subtracting, and this is going to give you, um, let's see, 7 minus uh, 19 is going to be negative 12d, and 8 minus uh, 44 gives me uh, negative 36. So D equals 3. Now if D equals 3, then all you have to do is plug that back in to one of the equations. I'll just put the first one. We have uh, A plus 7 times 3 equals 8. So basically your... Um, a is going to equal 21. A plus 21 equals 8. Subtract the 21. So A equals negative 13. So this is what they're looking for. And now let's just write our formulas. The recursive formula is pretty easy. A is, let's see. A was, um, let's see. Oh, I can't find it. A was negative 13, and D was 3. So for the recursive formula, you just use this formula here. And all you do is copy this down. A sub N equals, it means your current term, or the term you're looking for, is your previous term plus your common difference, which is D. That's it. So that's all you have to do for that. The explicit formula or the nth term, a little harder. So you just write a sub n equals your first term plus, and I'm using this formula here, n minus 1 times d. So just write that out. You get a sub n equals negative 13. Distribute here. So that's going to give you plus 3n minus 3. And this gives you uh, our explicit formula, our nth term is negative 16 plus 3n. You can switch those two terms around if you want. But here's the two formulas. This is the recursive one and this is the explicit one. Also known as the nth term. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.